guys, it's time to start our capital letters. We've learned all of the lowercase letters, and now we're starting on day 11 with our capital letters. And we're going to start with capital H, capital X, and capital W. And the same thing still goes whenever you write in cursive. You want to hold, well, um, I'll show you with pencil, you want to hold your pencil with the one finger on top, that's your pointer finger, your thumb on the side, and leaning on your middle finger. And don't hold your pencil very, very tightly. Just kind of hold it loose. And if you do that, you'll have better handwriting. So we're going to start with capital H. Now, a lot of the lowercase letters that we wrote, you didn't have to pick up your pencil on. Some of the capital letters you do pick up your pencil on. And one of those will be an H. Because you have to make it, when we make a print H, we have the one side, the other side, and then you go straight through the middle. So the capital H in cursive doesn't look a lot different than this, but you'll have to pick up your pencil. So you're going to start just a tiny bit below the top line. See where I put that dot? And you're going to make like what I call a hook. You just come around and make a hook and then go down to the bottom line. So it kind of looks like a candy cane. And remember when we write in cursive, we have to have our slant. So that is the first line here for your, for your H. It's like making this part of your H. Then you're going to come over just a small amount and you're going to start at the top line and you're going to come down and stop. And it has a tiny little curve out right there. Now you're going to stop right there and you're going to trace that line back up to the dotted line. And you're going to, at the dotted line, you're going to come through and make a loop and then come out. So you have a loop there in the middle instead of just a straight line. So you make the first part is just this candy cane hook. The second one comes down like this. You trace back up to the dotted line, come over this way. Then go down underneath and put the uh, tail right there. Now what you don't want to do is make your H too wide. If you make it too wide, it just kind of looks weird. So you make this side, this side. That's a good looking H. If you make it too wide. Look how terrible that looks. So don't make your H too wide. Okay, you can pause this video and practice making a line of H. When you finish your line, find your very best H and circle it. So you'll know you want all of your H's to look like that H. Okay, now we're going to make capital X. You start out kind of the same way as we did for the for the H. It's just going to be a little bit below that top line. Except this time we have to go the other way. So see how it's slanted this way? So you're like making a, a hook there and then a hook there. Then you have to pick up your pencil and you come back to the top line over here and you just cross. Now notice how it crosses right at the dotted line. You want the top and the bottom to be about the same size. So the first thing you do is make this, then you come across right at the dotted line. What you don't want your X to look like is that. See that's crossed way too high, so that's not good. We want it crossed right at that dotted line. So when you're ready, you can pause the video and practice making a line of X and then look back at your X's and circle the one that you think is the best. Okay, now we're going to make capital W. Capital W looks very similar to a print W. You're going to start just a little bit below the top line just like you did with the H and the X. You're going to have that hook, but you're going to come down this way. Then you curve all the way up to the top. You trace that line back down. 
curve all the way up to the top and put on another little handle right there. So, but you don't pick up your pencil at all on the W. The W actually won't connect to whatever your next letter is. So like if you are writing a word that begins with a W, you don't connect it up here. So when you're ready, you can pause this video and make a line of W's. And when you get finished, look back at your W's, circle the one that you think is your very best. Okay, we're going to practice writing a few names. Now you know all of your lowercase letters, so we can write the name Hunter. We'll start with a capital H. So you're going to make your capital H. Now the capital H you can connect your next letter to. So I'm going to start my U right here connected to my H. And then I have my N, T, E, R. Then we pick up and go back and cross the T. That's the name Hunter. Okay, you can pause this video and practice writing the name Hunter. Okay, um, let's think of uh, a place maybe that we can write with a W. Um, a place around here, we have Watauga Lake, so we can write Watauga, W. Now, your A will not connect right, right there. Watauga. I'm about to run out of line. Okay, you can pause this video and practice writing the word Watauga. All right, and um, there's not a lot of words that have a capital X. Um, I think there's, let's see, the name Xavier. Notice how when I wrote Xavier, I have a V right here. So that V has that handle, so it makes the, a strange connection to my eye. So be real, really careful right there. Now the X, when you make your X and you have to pick up and come over here, then you can just come right back to this little part right here and start your A. Okay, you can pause this video and practice writing Xavier. Okay, tomorrow we'll learn um, M, N, and U.